Hey, Jason Starr here, and the topic of this video is my best advice for first-time novelists. And this is based on a question I got from a subscriber, what is your best advice for first-time novelists? So here it comes. Um, just a quick reminder uh, to like my videos, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, so you could be notified when I have a new one up. Okay, so my best advice. Um, well, I've given this a lot of thought late, especially lately because I recently um, republished a new edition of my first novel, Cold Caller, and I wrote a new introduction for it. And I was thinking about my mindset at that time and what I was trying to um, achieve when I wrote that novel. Um, also, I've, I've taught writing classes. I teach at St. Francis now. Um, I've taught at uh, the Center for Fiction in New York and um, worked, worked with some first-time novelists in uh, both settings, and it's also made me think about it. So I think my, my best advice would be, and it's very simple, to keep it simple. Um, don't try to do too much with your first novel. Um, I've seen people in creative writing classes that I took when I was in college and grad school, um, and in, in my experience since then, um, just try to do too much with with the first novel, like overcomplicate the process. I would really recommend trying to keep it as simple as possible. Um, there's an old adage that everyone's first novel is autobiographical, and I think for for one one reason that's true uh, for the most part is that when you're writing an autobiographical book, something that's very close to you, you don't really have to do a lot of research for it. It's um, about a subject matter you know intimately. So that, in a way, simplifies the the process. Um, but, I, but I would also take that um, into consideration structurally when you're choosing your point of view you want to write from. Um, if you have an idea for uh, a series of George R.R. R. Martin-esque uh, fantasy novels, uh, something that would be very complex over multiple books, I'd probably save that for something down the line. And when you're coming up with what, what that idea is for your first book, um, I'm not saying it has to be a first-person novel or from, from one point of view, but I would strongly consider um, writing from one point of view. Um, and I was thinking of some examples of of novelists besides myself who, who took that approach and I'm thinking of like Brett Easton Ellis's early books, um, uh, Hemingway, uh, Toni Morrison, um, and I, I, I came up with a lot of examples, Philip K. Dick. Th their early novels were much simpler than their later novels when they started to take some risks. Um, painters, for example, somebody like, uh, I think this just applies to other art forms. Uh, I think Jackson Pollock, before he started uh, you know, doing his uh, very complex, abstract works really uh, nailed the basics of, of painting. I think it's similar to writing. Keep it simple, work on, focus on the basics, focus on a, a simple story, a simple plot. Um, you don't have to do too much with the first novel. You, you, you know, I wouldn't even get too complex in the plotting. Keep it a very simple uh, plot. If you're writing um, something that's, um, a kidnapping story, if it's a crime story, uh, or uh, a detective story. Um, keep it uh, simple. Um, if you're writing a love story, just have like the basic uh, plot points and uh, you know take minimal risk. I wouldn't just go f go for it with that first book because it's going to overcomplicate. It's going to confuse you, and basically you just want to keep the process really simple. Um, when I'm writing, I, I try to micro-focus as much as I can. Uh, I'm focused on writing um, a, a really good, not even like a really good sentence, just like the right words in the sentence. And then I want to write like a really good sentence and then a really good paragraph and a really good chapter. I'm, I'm not thinking about the entire book at once, so that's one way of uh, simplifying it. But the, the whole process of that first novel has to be simplified. Um, you you don't you would go. I, I just worry, and I see it happen, that you can get um, too caught up in trying to uh, do too much, and also in the, in the language. Also, like I wouldn't try to be uh, a literary genius with that first novel. Like sometimes the simplicity of the book is more impressive than um, 
flexing those those literary muscles. Um, you could do that once you master the craft and you get past that first and second book. Then then you worry about that with that first book though. Just be laser focused and keep it simple. And that's my best advice. So like the channel, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll have more soon.